Hello, 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 and welcome to another Rangaroo cast for me, Rangaroo, and today we are doing a 1v1 on Battle Site Zero. So, in the bottom left hand side, in the blue, playing as Chimera, we got Insane Onyx. And in the top right, in the red, playing as Cartel, we got Stefan BFC. So, as usual, let's speed up the early game, Sari, and get right to the meat of it. Stefan going for Ron Oil and Ron Aluminium. And Onyx is going for one oil for now. And he's got two Raxes, one to capture the bank down here, and probably one to capture the bank in the top side of the map. And Stefan just going straight for the bottom side bank. And the left hand side bank as well, so we can have a little bit of a contested fight over here it seems, but Onyx will be the first one to gain entry. Stefan capped bottom right, Onyx has top left, and here comes the infantry. I see instead of going to be capping this building, probably all going to rate up to form up. Yeah, it does seem like his recon helicopter now is already infantry in there. And Onyx, what are you doing, mate? Sending up a few felons. Moving them around. And the Viper is just going to outrange him. That's a slow down to normal speed now. Onyx trying to get control of the bank right here. Oh, he is a little bit outnumbered. Yeah, he's bringing up his SAS sniper to well get the job done. Yeah, Onyx does have a spear vehicle bait and he went straight for a helipad. So maybe some early game Tigris, I imagine. Well, Stefan got a vehicle bait and a repair center and he's getting the napalm bombs for the hind. So maybe a bit of hind play. Some look thing both sides going to be using the helicopters and rightfully so because this map is a helicopter heaven. Now Onyx and Stefan are fighting, but seems like Stefan will come out on top. I mean Onyx, god damn it. I do apologize. Got the names mixed up. And here comes the sub behind. Now can they drop the bombs on the bank? That's what I want to know. Yeah, they can. And uh, nothing like a bit of an A bomb in the morning. <laughs> Stefan just picks these guys off. And he does a 360, uh, 360 no scope with his little hind. Now, Stefan is building up a force in his base, a few automatics. Again, another sub behind. Well, Onyx over here has got his Tigra out. And he's getting 80 missiles for him, meaning he's already at Sword Protocol. And he does have a few boomers. Would go a refinery up here from Stefan. Let's take a look at his economy real fast. Stefan doing pretty decent. Got like five Base refineries out. Under attack. One on mix he's got. Is he still just. Yeah, he's still just sticking on one oil and one aluminium. And yeah, he does have extractor protocol, so he's getting double the amount from him. You've got a few Pumas and SAS doing some harassing in Stefan's base. But the contractors are going to chase them down. And because the SAS is slightly slower, they can't really run away all that well. It's a big ass gun they carry. And the sub behind is going to be mopping that all up. There's one lone SAS trying to capture the Tokamak generator. But fails too. And, at, and with the Tokamak generator out, Stefan can start getting those more advanced buildings. He's getting himself the helipad. 
Not a uh, build and receive all too often from like Telltale players. So they usually get the Ghost Stalk and the Kamachi, which are both stealth helicopters, because Cartel really loves their stealth units. Now, so behind in the top left has managed to knock out the bank. But oh no, Elmix got his infantry back in there. And there's another napalm bomb. And there's just nothing like a bit of napalm. Stefan going in for the bank once again. And he's going to be able to capture it while the lone felon outside to try to lure them away. And Onyx still with his slow economy, he's getting another oil refinery finally because. Doesn't seem to be looking too good. All he has is two Pumas and one Tigger out, and he's having trouble bringing out the next run. Oh, he has two Tiggers out here as well. A little bit of harassment, now put them back. Got a stealth turret being brought up. Got a Tigger over here doing some harassment. And Tiggers with 18 missiles. Uh, pretty scary against refineries, as you can see. Got an automatic moving up, trying to lure him off. And that's going to cause the Tigra to fall back a bit. But the Otto is given quite a chase. And will he fall back or will he kill it? He does kill it just in time. Now Stefan is getting some Comanche helicopters of his own. And Onyx caught himself a sentinel turret. And building himself a new outpost. And he's just sticking with his Tigger, Tigra harassment strategy for now. And he really has them all over the map, just attacking every part of Stefan's base. We got Tigra over here, we got Tigras over here. And the Hinds can't really do too much, these Tigras do have the AA missiles. Oh, but very close battle. <laughs> there we go. One Tigra for two Hinds. Now, really, the best way to counter is so, well, Tigra attacks is usually aircraft. Is, well, Tigras can't really run away from aircraft, and they can almost run away from an automatic. Got more Tigras being brought out. Onyx really liking his Tigras. And rightfully so. Trying to expand his economy a bit more. Stefan does have himself quite a lot of these Comanches. Which is also an attack helicopter from Armour 3, the Blackfoot. Now these guys are stealthed up, so they'll all be quite hard to detect. And it's quite easy for a stealth unit to get away, which is quite a big factor. Now Orlix is getting an air control tower. Whether he's going to be getting bombers or air interceptors, we'll have to see. Stealth enemy unit detected. And oh god, here comes the Comanches. 
stealth enemy unit detected. Now they are quite fast, but because they're fast, they only have 10 HP. And other Tigra's going to support them. They do have that mass amount of strike, so they can attack stealth units. So the Komatsis will probably be out of the question now. Definitely getting themselves some more automatics. Detected. Just trying to counter these very annoying Tigras that are well, constantly attacking his base. Almost killed his helipad up here. We got some more Comanches coming around the top. And we've got a prototype vehicle bay down, so we'll probably be seeing some spectras quite Stealth soon. Unit detected. And Komachi's trying to attack, but it was Tigris. Just, you don't mess with Tigris. Especially once they got that mass mounted sight. Nothing that the Komachi can really do to get the upper edge. And here comes even more Komachi's. Automatic moving up, trying to save Stefan's refinery. And this is also quite a nice thing about having these Tigras, especially on this map, is that you have to when you expand, you have to expand quite far away from your base, so it's quite hard to protect your outwards refineries like so. So you know Tigras can come in and eat them up, and that's an odd, that's quite an odd refinery placement from Stefan. But hey, I guess it works for him. And the autos are going to be trying chasing them away. But Onyx is just kiting them. See those AT missiles, they do not let up. So if Onyx can just keep Stefan pretty much locked up in his base, his. Stealth his enemy unit detected. What was I going to say? His resources will eventually deplete out, and, you know, he can't really buy anything anymore. Because really the places you can expand is down here, over here, and over here. So unless you start getting a lot of air defenses by his refineries, I don't think they're going to be alive too long. Now we do have some Neuron Bombers being brought out from the air control tower. A very nice, affordable bomber aircraft with scan. Well, three of them, if you get good hits, can knock out one refinery. Stealth enemy unit detected. And if I'm guessing on X, that will probably be his plan. He's flying right over. The automatics do spot him, yo. Did they drop their bombs? Well, one of them did. The automatics own their anti plane power. And that's 76 millimeters of naval gun going straight for your fuselage. You don't usually like that. Now Onyx is getting a short vehicle bay. If my guess is going to be getting terminators to support his Tigris. And that's exactly what he's doing. I'll check his aluminium. Yeah, he has quite a good amount. Has reached its maximum. Let's look at Stefan's economy. Yeah, Stefan dying on the oil. Hardly, well, his aluminium reserves are full right now. He's not getting another LEM or extension module for the cartel. Enemy Stealth enemy detected. See, so he's still pretty much locked up in his base. He only has one oil refinery left. Two aluminiums. Oh, that's the one aluminium down here. And he's trying to build another oil refinery, but the Tigras are over here and they're probably going to stop here before it begins. Stealth enemy unit detected. Tigras coming over, and as you can see, 
The AA missiles outrange the Comanches by a long shot. Even the auto cannon as well, jeez. And Ron Lone Tigra causes these four Comanche, two Comanches Stealth left to run away. Tigra's over here. And they're just trying to plate the automatics. That's the <laughs> outrange them of the AT missiles, damn. That's the uh, mass mounted sight upgrade for you. And that's going to force the automatic to move up, but they can't chase down the, Kamat, the Tigras, so they, they can't do anything. They're sitting ducks. Just as long as Onyx, you know, plays half decently and moves his Tigras back and forth, he's pretty much unstoppable. And what do we have over here? We got more Tigras. What a surprise! Some Terminators being built up, some Exo Soldiers as well. You know, the Triple and Tundra, full of Chimera. Those three units combined together are a deadly force. Well, Tigger over here knocking out his refinery. Stealth enemy unit detected. And Onyx moving up, just doing some more harassment. And almost knocking out the alley pad. And now Stephanie's getting more railgun turrets. Stealth enemy unit detected. Got even more Kamachi than I thought Stefan would realise that like, Kamachis aren't the best thing to buy right now. Stealth enemy unit detected. We've got a bunch of exo soldiers moving up. Maybe the Kamachis can deal with him. Yes he can! And well it's just one good thing about Kamachis. They're infantry killers as you can see. Really good infantry killers. I mean, you saw that whole Exo Soldier platoon. There's no more Exo Soldiers. They're all dead. And that's and that's what makes Kamachis really good. So if you get Javelin spammed against a US player, get Kamachis. Uh, yeah, your best counter and artillery. And Onyx moving up as Terminators only have the AA missile upgrade to him right now. Kamachis try and get him, but to no avail. Almost killing Run. Tigra's coming into support. And if we look at Stefan's base, his economy is just dwindling right now. He does have his oil refinery over here. Stealth but yeah, Tigras are going to come and blow it up for a third time. Base is under attack. Yeah, he's not sitting pretty well. Onyx, I'd say he's spending a lot of his money as well. I mean, he has a refinery over here, it's just got destroyed. Unit is under attack. Terminator's running from the automatic horde. And here comes Tigris. Nornix is just going to be falling back. Using his long range for his advantage. And Stefan does surrender. And that will be a good game to Onyx. And the well, good match all around. Onyx doing pretty good with the Tigra harassment. While Stefan, you know, 
trying to defend, but damn. I have to admit, Tigras are really powerful when you use them as a harassment unit, because nothing can really kill them. The only way to kill Tigras effectively is planes, and that's what Stefan really should have got instead of getting all those Kamatsis, which time and time and time again kept getting blown up. Blown up. And on that map, Onyx is did the right thing, he harassed the enemies, kept him confined in his base, and killed him through economy pretty much. And yeah, a pretty good game from both sides, and uh, that's all I have time for. This has been another Ragnarok Cast, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and as usual, please just take it easy.